Um, as a general ed teacher in the group, I feel I'm the eyes of the classroom. I'm usually the first one to see the struggling child that hasn't been identified. And I'm the one who um, sees how the intervention is put into action and is manifesting itself in our classroom. I'm a reading tutor at Seipelt, so I work with students from all grade levels. And my role in the RTI process is to provide support to students who are working at the uh, Tier 2 and Tier 3 levels of instruction. As a reading specialist, my role is to deliver the day-to-day -day intervention that is chosen based on the flowchart and what the team decides at the RTI meetings. Um, in addition to delivering the intervention, I also come back to the team with data so that the team can make decisions about replacing the intervention or adding to the intervention, intervention depending on the success with each child. To communicate with the team how they're doing and as far as their strengths and weaknesses, what's working, what I've tried in the classroom to solve problems and how things are going. Um, I think the process is founded on collaboration. Um, a response to intervention is like a group. So um, you need everyone's points of view and everyone's input for it to work. Um, it kind of just is a natural thing. Um, kids interact with multiple different teachers and are in different environments all through the day. Um, so you need to realize that the team that's working to help that child is going to reflect kind of what their day is and all the different people that they see and work with. Um, so to me, it kind of just lends itself to being a collaborative process because you need everybody involved. That all team members can discuss how a particular student is doing in different environments. Collaboration is important in the RTI process because we all share the same goal of making sure we meet the students' needs. So RTI meetings give us the opportunity to review data, and not only review data and to determine who needs help, but to make sure no students are falling through the cracks. The data may not show specific needs of certain students, so that gives us the opportunity to talk about it. And um, side belt teachers, I feel like, are very focused and know their students well. So um, the whole process gives us the opportunity to make sure no students fall through the cracks. Collaboration is important because everyone can add a piece to the puzzle, to bring another perspective, to um, help you see things that other people didn't catch. Because the student is in a different classroom setting with each of us, then we see different things. So we look at a score, and it might look different to me because I know how they got the score in my classroom, but somebody else might have input that I was unaware of and that we can collaborate and say how we can help improve that child. Um, it also helps to make sure that we're checking in and not letting each student fall below where their target line is and making sure that um, we're keeping focus on their progress along the way. We have a variety of programming and a variety of learning styles and techniques we use uh, based on the the plan of action for each student that we can put our faith into before we have to put a tier three level plan with more supports in place. As a team, try to come up with solutions and then you use those solutions and you try everything until you find things that work. So you're going through a checklist of um, interventions that you can help that are going to hopefully help the student. And I've seen great progress with RTI with um, this team approach kids have made great strides in their um, in their 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 skills or their um, academic achievement plus that's helped them in behavior um, it's it's sort of you're looking at the whole child and working um, with the child as a whole so the team the approach really helps the progress of the child overall. I think before the response to intervention um, system was used I just felt a little bit helpless in some ways if kids were struggling. Um, I wasn't always aware of what was available through the school um, to assist and the different professionals that could, um, you know, provide help for whatever area the kid is struggling in. I see the confidence as the child says, hey, I learned that from Miss McHale. And, um, and then they go on to explain to the class a concept that we're learning about, and that gives them, you know, a lot of power in their own. The process has improved my teacher performance because it has actually put 
hard fast data in front of my eyes and allowed me to see exactly what's occurring in my room um, numerically instead of just having a feeling maybe that certain kids were struggling I actually could see it and that allowed me to then take action with the group that we were collaborating with um, to help and to do something about it instead of just having the feeling that there was a problem. It's helped me feel like my time is used more efficiently. It's helped me work with my colleagues more. Um, I feel like you, when you're in the RTI meeting and you're talking about all the ideas to help students, since that's the focus, um, and you come up with great ideas, it doesn't just... Um, I'm also able to better reach a child because I've collaborated with other people and they've given me some ideas. Finally, I feel that I'm so much more aware of the struggling student um, and his or her needs and don't feel like I'm on this little island all by myself trying to teach this child. I, thought. I like to be the person who thinks outside the box and really tries to put myself in the shoes of the children who don't think in the normal general population way and try to help them be as successful as I can through my suggestions on how a lesson could be changed or modified to accomplish the same outcome. It's improved my collaboration and communication with other teachers. Because we are working as a team to reach each student's needs, it lends itself to making sure that we're communicating um, and making sure that we're reaching each student's needs and helping them get to where they need to be. How has the RTI process allowed you to foster relationships with your students? I think the best thing that has happened um, in my relationships and my understanding of my students is that I can talk to them about specific things that they might be struggling with and specific things that they're um, being successful with. You know, before it would have been just more of a vague conversation like, well, you're doing well or your grades have improved, but I can actually have more frank conversations with the students based on the data and the process that I receive with specific things that maybe that they're working on or um, you know, goals that they... In the classroom and their binders still in there, I'll put a little note in there to them, you know, I try to put notes on the papers that they have. I, I mainly put either questions or I put um, a note saying, you know, parts that I really like or something that was interesting to me. So when I grade their papers, that's the kind of feedback that I, I get. We have SOAR meetings and we do a lot of discussing and modeling and um, role playing for behaviors and helping each other and problem solving with each other and um, brainstorming ideas that help in our um, classroom relations in our and anything we're studying so that um, that collaborative model just extends into almost everything in, in Sipelt and it makes us very a, a very nurturing place that is very accepting of others differences and we get along well and it's it creates a great atmosphere